There are still white caps on many peaks in the Bolivian Andes. But each year, the ice and snow is steadily turning into a wasteland of scree and rock. The glaciers are melting. Edson Ramirez is a glaciologist at the University of La Paz. He's heading up to the Chacaltaya Glacier, 5,300 meters above sea level. Ramirez has been observing the vanishing ice in the Andes for years. It's very sad to, to find that the glaciers are actually disappearing. It's very dramatic, very, very dramatic. After a grueling climb, the men reach the ski hut of the Bolivian Andes Association, surrounded by dirt and rocks. Just a decade ago, these were the highest altitude ski slopes in the world. Bolivia's national ski team trained on the Chacaltaya Glacier. And now, this is all that's left. Skiing here is a thing of the past. Edson Ramirez has documented the glacier's disappearance. In 1942, South America's first ski lift stood here, but then the ice began receding. In the case of Chacaltaya, it was melting in the last 30 years, three times faster compared to other years before. The glacier is dead. Chacaltaya, it's dead. Aerial photographs reveal the dramatic deterioration in other regions as well. If the people not react now, in the next years, it will be too late. <laughs> For the farmers in remote mountain villages, the receding glacier already threatens their existence. The landscape here is barren. Without water from the mountains, no crops would grow, and no one in these high-altitude Andean valleys could survive. There is less rainfall every year, and harvests are dwindling as droughts increase. Why? I think it's Gusano. Selling produce is these farmers' only source of income. But recent harvests have yielded barely enough to feed their families. With nothing left over to sell, people have no money to buy even the basic necessities. Maybe it's the end of the world. God gave us everything, and he can take everything away from us, the water, everything. As survival becomes difficult, the mountain villages are emptying out. Men are leaving their families to look for work in the lowlands. The women stay behind to tend the farms, take care of the remaining stock, and feed the children. The family of Felix Quispe, the head of the village, has worked this land for generations. He wanted to pass on his farm to his son, but now he's lost hope of that. This year's crops have failed again. It's so sad. So many people have left. Many houses have been abandoned. Some no longer have their roofs. It hurts me to see this. Some men come home only twice a month. It would be wonderful if everything were as it used to be. It breaks my heart. He too has left his old life behind. These days he sells toilet paper and cleans windows in the city. Bolivia's big cities like La Paz and El Alto are full of unskilled laborers from mountain villages. But here, too, time is running out. The water supply is in danger. Hydroelectric power accounts for more than half of Bolivia's electricity needs. But climate expert Jose Guterres tells us the receding glaciers are having a severe impact on reservoirs. This is the reservoir that provides water to one of the main cities in Bolivia. Some reservoirs are now vast expanses of mud without enough runoff water to replenish them. What will the world do 
when two million of people will not have water for drinking. Farmers in the valleys below the glaciers will likely be among the first to leave. If temperatures in the mountains continue to rise, children here will have no future. Without water, the Andes could turn into a desert devoid of people. <laughs>